your girl Indy and today you're gonna follow me around with some errands because I've been so busy this is actually Thursday I don't know if you're gonna see this tomorrow Friday but this is Thursday um, two days before the 24th and I'm running some last-minute errands and yes my hair is like green aqua and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in the story time today I'm gonna tell you gonna give out some presents and I'm also um, wishing you guys a merry little Christmas with your family or if you're by yourself um, get cozied up watch movies get some takeout and just get cozy up in your room like here in Mexico we're gonna be like minus three degrees I don't even want to go out I don't want to do anything but that's part of the story time that I need to tell you as well but anyway, sis, so let's start with the hair. I had my son's birthday party um, this this past week. Um, you guys, if you haven't seen me on Twitch, I showed you guys my hair yesterday. But for all of you, this is story time. So it was a day of the party. And I said, okay, that day I'm going to color my hair. And for you people that don't know the whole process about coloring the hair is that first you have to bleach your hair, leave it on for 40 minutes, wash your hair, let it dry, and then color your hair, leave it on for another 40 minutes, then wash it and dry it out. So in my mind I said I could pull this off. Mind you, I haven't I hadn't even done the little candy bags for the party. And I also had to pick up the birthday cake. And all of this, I had to be ready at 11.20 a.m. to be at the birthday place at 12, because that's when it started. So in my delusional little mind, I was like, I can totally pull this off. I just wake up at 6.20 and I had like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have five hours to do this. It would only take two hours for my hair. Um, dress up my child pick up the, the pick up the birthday cake do the candy bags we're good to go like I have enough time to spare right I didn't even remember about like breakfast and shit anyways um, this is what happened I did not wake up at 620 I put the snooze alarm and I woke up at 8 a.m. so we just caught up cut off those two hours that I could have been done with my hair and still my delusional ass thought I could still pull this off I was like I am going to my son's birthday party with my hair aqua that was my plan right of course not so my still crazy ass bleached my hair waited the 40 minutes while I was waiting the 40 minutes I was doing the candy bags and then I was um, putting my son in the shower and I was like hurry up because it's time for me to take the bleach off because if you don't take the bleach off at a certain time like at 40 minutes your hair can start falling off like because it's bleach it's really hard on your on your scalp on your hair so I was like rushing um, bathing him and everything I got his clothes ready I'm like here's your clothes get dressed while I take this bleach off so I took the shower took the bleach off and then I, it was already like 10 something because we ate breakfast like really calmly I still ate breakfast like I made my little eggs I made my little cereal and my son too because I thought oh we still have a lot of time that's why it was like 10 something when I was taking off the bleach of my hair so I only had one hour to leave the house and I had my hair bleached like it was yellow you know and I was like I am not gonna have time to dry up my hair put color on it wash it off and dry it off again because it was really cold and I didn't want to get sick with my hair all wet out going outside so I was like you know what I just fucked it up so what I did was I just got dressed I didn't even dry my hair I didn't even have time to dry my hair it was all yellow all fucked up because it was like 
dark brown because I wanted this part to be dark brown so it could go with the aqua. So it was like dark brown here, yellow, and then aqua here because I still had the color left of the last time I had colored my hair. So my hair was looking all crazy and fucked up, which that was not what I wanted. I would have just left it how it was and not have done anything because of the pictures we were gonna take for my son's birthday party. I was like, oh, I'm so screwed. So I was like, you know what? If my hair is screwed, I'm still have to look that bougie from my face down. So I like put on my lashes on, I put on like my bougie face on, makeup on, really good dress and I just put up a ponytail like a really tight ponytail trying to cover up the yellowness and that worked like I told all my family members and everybody that were in the party because I knew they were like what is up with this girl's hair like so I just explained what happened and they're like you know what it doesn't show like it doesn't even show like it's different like it looks good or whatever I'm like okay thank you so i didn't feel bad i saw the pictures it didn't look bad um i'll show you one of the pictures right here so you can see what i was talking about and um well we got that done the next day i did finish the process i did color my hair and this is the end result which i like it but the last time i colored my hair this way I left a little bit more black like over here kind of so I think I put more color way up in my scalp than I should have but it's okay that means it would last longer so when my hair keeps growing I'm gonna still be having like blue hair on the bottom part so it's okay that means I will have more time with my blue hair we'll see next year how I color my hair because I was thinking about like blonde and then like black like half blonde half black yeah we'll see we'll see what 2023 brings us so <clears throat> that was the story time of my hair and how i got it this way and all the craziness behind cameras so today what i'm gonna do is go and give out some presents i have like three presents to give out because tomorrow i'm not gonna go out anywhere you guys because i'm telling you it's gonna be freezing cold since like starting tomorrow today was a day that was like hot here it was like 27 but starting like at 10 it's gonna drop the temperature is gonna drop and it's gonna be hella hella cold so i'm like i need to do this today also i'm gonna show you later on when i'm in the grocery stores when I'm in the grocery store because I'm gonna be buying some food to make the Mexican dessert that I always make at Christmas which is ensalada de manzana it's called in English apple salad but it's not an apple salad it tastes really good you guys um, it's apple it's nuts it's cream sour cream you put some sugar and that's how I put in mine like that's how I do mine there are other people that add some like pineapples and they also add some marshmallows but I don't add pineapple and I don't add marshmallows it's just like the apple and the nuts and the sour cream oh and mayonnaise as well you mix it all up oh, my mouth gets watery I make a whole bowl to last us like it lasts a lot of days because my son doesn't really like it that much so I'm just the one that eats it all <laughs> but I'm gonna take it to my dad's um, Christmas party they don't eat a lot too so I'm just gonna make a lot so when we're done um, serving the dessert at my dad's Christmas party I can take some home with me and don't have to cook more apple salad so Yes, just look that up. Maybe I'll put a picture up here so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Ensalada de manzana. It's the best dessert ever. If you want to try something new, um, I would recommend for you to make that and surprise your family with that Mexican dessert. Talking about desserts that we don't know or have tasted. 
You know I have never tasted made eggnog because here in Mexico we're not used to making eggnog. But I always see it like in the Christmas movies. I always see that. So it so in the movies it looks like it tastes so good. Like people love it and that I don't know what type of alcohol you put in it. I think it's rum. I need to check it out. But for real, you guys, I wanna make it. I want to make that recipe and if I do make it leave me leave me in the comments below if you would want me to film that for you guys and show you and see if I like it or not to see the end result of that and also tell me if you are liking these follow me videos or stuff like that I'm doing these videos because I haven't had time to do the reaction TikTok videos but those are coming back as well next year don't worry but this is more this is easier for me to film and i think a lot of you like to know my day by day and when i'm doing fun things you also want to know what i'm doing behind the scenes because we just want to know what the creator is doing in real life so you get a little bit of me right here and anyway so we're gonna try to do eggnog it's gonna be the first time uh i'm gonna give it to my family as well because they have never tried it either let's see if I make it right and if it tasted good and if it does I will try it each year and if it fucks me up with the alcohol even better <laughs> I'm just kidding but yes we're gonna try that this year so right now you guys I'm um, also gonna show you I need to go fix the screen of my phone my cell phone I cannot show you the picture because it's in the front of my phone but it's really fucked up it's like you cannot see anything on my phone maybe I'll post a picture right here I'm gonna take a picture of it so you guys can see that I can't see shit on my phone um, that's why whenever I'm talking with somebody um, and they text me I'm like no bitch don't text me like send me a voice note because I cannot see shit and when they text me I'm like putting it all up because I can't see shit I need to put it all the way up or I need to screenshot it and then go to my photos and see the whole message like it's all fucked up like all this process I have to do because I can't see shit on my phone and I've been like this like a month and a half the only good thing is the camera didn't break that's why I've been able to use it or else a bitch would have had to buy a new phone and we ain't got money for that right now I'm actually like penniless right now with all the Christmas shopping all the food my son's birthday is on December as well you know all the craziness about also going with your mom like going with your dad if you have like divorced parents um, both meals both parties bringing them both like gifts so it's just a lot of spending on Christmas and I always say in January I say I need to save up money so that for Christmas I have this money saved up just for December and I never do that but I need to start doing that because in December we be spending a lot of money you guys but anyways, God will provide. <laughs> so I need to go do that. I hope it's still open, the cell phone place, because I, like I said, I don't want to go anywhere tomorrow because it's going to be really cold. But if it's not open right now, I think I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. Like, I will just have to. And I hope the car place, oh yeah, I need to go to a car place. I'll tell you that in a minute because there's a lot of noise. Hey you guys, so I had to make a little stop. I could not go and check the car. I told you guys that I didn't want to go tomorrow because it's going to be freezing, but I had no time. But at least I got to deliver the presents and my phone is fixed. So I'm so glad because I will be able to read text again. I was like not able to read shit. Let me show you what I'm eating right now, like for dinner. It's ramen, and if you know me, you know I love ramen. So let me show you. I'm showing you guys the apple salad that I made. It has carrots, I forgot to mention that the first time. 
apple, it has cream, it has mayonnaise, and it has nuts. And then you add some sugar to it, and it's delicious. I made here my little glass that I'm going to eat, and it's going to be for tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to keep you posted also on the car. Hey, you guys, this is a brand new day. It's actually the 24th. This vlog is just all over the place, but I hope you like it. I just wanted to show you the cake that my mom made. It looks like so good and she made it herself. And also this little bandana my grandma made and I just wanted to make some spikes here and there. So this is the pajama look for today. It's gonna be black, but I took it off. So we were gonna do like pajama party at my dad's house. So that's why we're gonna go like pajama party. So let me show you the cake. That looks so good, you guys. So good. I love it. Yum. For the dirtiness of the car, but this is like what happened, and this is what I got to go get fixed. So I'm leaving like at 5 and it closed like at 7. I always leave it really late. I am like the worst person ever. So let me tell you the story about this. Hey you guys, so it's another day. It's like Monday 26th. You guys are gonna have content for almost the last video of the year, which is awesome. So you guys saw the little scratch. Well, it's not little, but the scratch that I have on my car. So those days that I told you I was gonna go get it fixed, I had been so busy, then Christmas came along, then like the weather has been cold for a lot of you, for us as well, it's been so cold. The, this week it's going to be so much better here in Mexico, um, it's not going to be that cold. So I want to take advantage of the weather and do the errands, but today I woke up so freaking late. Like last night I slept at 1am, which is not even late, but I woke up like at, I woke up look, like at 5am, right? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so early. Then I fell asleep and then I woke up like at 8 a.m. And then my son was still asleep and I was like doing um, some things on the internet, like on social media. And then I was getting like tired again. And I was like, oh, he's still not awake. And it's, it was already like 11 o'clock a.m. So I fell asleep again and I woke up like at 2 p.m. So I was like, fuck, my day is over. So we literally like ate or meal like breakfast, you know? And then I was like, let's take a shower, let's change and let's at least go check out the car. Cause it's right now like five something p.m because our day has barely started and my son is like it's barely 5 something p.m. and it looks like we have to go to sleep again and we barely woke up and I'm like it's because we spent the whole day like sleeping like we should have been woken up like really early that's why it seems like the day is barely starting for us and it's about to be like midnight but it's because the sun comes down really early that's what I hate about daylight savings time, which they said they won't do that anymore. So anyways, um, we're gonna go, I, I was gonna go and change also my dad's shirt. It didn't fit him, the one that I bought him for Christmas. It was small, I thought it looked large, so I need to go change the size of his shirt. But since it's getting to be nighttime, it gets colder over here. So I'd rather just do one thing today and do the other thing tomorrow. And tomorrow I will get early, like I do want to get early. But I wanted to update you guys on what happened to the car that I never told you. Okay, so obviously I'm a good driver and the car crash was not my fault. Here in Mexico, this is one thing you have to know if you have never come over here. 
people drive like crazy they don't care about the rules they don't care about the signals like if it's red sometimes they pass the light like they don't care shit about the driving rules okay like it's crazy so when you come to mexico be careful because people drive like however they want to drive and that's just how it is it's like an animal crazy world here and also there are people crossing the streets like whenever they want like you can run over somebody in any moment or if it's dark sometimes when it's like dark i don't see people and you're like fuck and like uh, you didn't see them pass by and you could have just run over them they don't care to go over the bridge that is built for them to pass by and then you run over them but the new rule here in mexico is if you run over somebody that was trying to cross the street when there's a bridge built for them to pass the fault will not be yours and it will be the person that was trying to cross the streets so that's the new rule anyways what happened was there are after explaining you how crazy people drive there are taxis truck drivers buses and trailers those are the people that drive the worst here like stay away from them don't cross their paths because they don't drive good they drive fast as hell and they don't give a fuck if they hurt you or if they like run over your car since it's not their car they don't give a fuck you know um so i was driving on my lane and then this fucking truck driver just like he didn't see me i was like in his blind sight and um since my car is small like he just like tried to cross the lane like i wasn't even there and i just like honked the horn like hey fucker like i'm here and then he just like stopped but he like fucking hit the side of my car like really bad i'm like he fucked it up thank god my son my son was with me in the back seat thank god he's okay i'm okay it's only material things but still like you get mad because it's those people like it was a truck driver it's always the truck drivers the taxis the buses the trailers that do those things it's always them because they're not paying attention and they don't give a fuck and they don't drive good you know so i was so fucking pissed and then the guy came out like are you okay i'm sorry i didn't see you in my blind side i'm like you're the fucking one who's blind you know like i was so fucking mad because it was like the second car crash i had had like in a month um so i was just like what is going on why am i having like so many car crashes so i was just like so fed up that things were happening to my car obviously the insurance people came their insurance people came my insurance people came and it was their fault obviously um so now i just have to go take it to the garage where they're supposed to get it fixed i'm not gonna leave my car there i'm just gonna get like the notice um so they can tell me when the auto parts are gonna come in and then i'll take my car so they can just fix it you know so i'm gonna do that because they close at seven i'm literally gonna get there like just in time like i always do in every of my errands like i always get there just in time running like i don't know why i am not like that i'm gonna do a cleanse because i need to cleanse myself um and i need to get good energy good vibes back and like start the new year good with good energies so that was the story time of what happened to the car and that's what i'm gonna be doing so everything is not fun and everything is not happiness and roses in the background of my life so i like talking to you guys about what i'm doing about my day today and for you guys to also get to know me and catch up on the things that i'm doing in real life so thank
thank you for watching this video tell me in the comments below if you would like more videos like this hope you had a very nice christmas with your family or if you weren't with anybody with yourself chilling just having a good time and also have a very happy new year celebrating doing whatever you want to do and i will also be posting stuff that is not here on youtube or in any of my social media on patreon a vlog of my christmas party a vlog where i'm doing my new year's party and a vlog of everything else that wasn't posted here on this videos those are for my patreons if you guys want to sign up and see those videos the link is down below so thank you for the support thanks for watching please like and subscribe and share this video and i will see you next time love you guys bye